Here we go, guys. The very first game of APAC Group C Day 2 between Richard and Ice Coyote. Steal the Barbara pre-ban. And we have a Juno pre-ban. Very interesting. We have a Juno pre-ban. Not Gianna, not Lima, not any crazy LD fan that Richard has, but Juno. But Juno is a very strong counter to many different playstyles in the high rank. So that's going to be the pre-ban. First pick is going to be the Ciara for Ice Coyote. Probably going to go very aggressive here with another Speed and AoE Strip. But Richard, we know what he has. He has some of the craziest LD5 available in the game for RTA. But he's going to start off humble with the good old Chandra Cigar once again. No surprising here. They're so strong. And you can always pivot to turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. It doesn't matter with the Chandra Cigar first pick. Ice Coyote go for the classic Zibala Dark Rubber, one of the most common strategy you see in RTA nowadays in high rank. We have a very high speed Zibala to boost the Dark Rubber who can be on Despair or Vio to get that strip and attack by pushback going for the team, allowing for Sia to bomb. So, the unit that Richard is going to go and counter the turn 1 of Ice Coyote is going to be the segment, another high base speed unit, potentially on his best swift set. But he do need another speed lead though, or he's going to go for a Tian Lang to counter all the attack bar gain and absorption coming out from Ice Coyote. Very, very strong unit. One to counter all the attack bar, one to get the turn 1. Over the Ice Coyote is going to decide that, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to get turn 1 after all. We're going to go for Rika and Carno last pick here. Without any immunity cleansing for Richard, it is going to be very bad for him if the Carno and the Rika manage to pull off the skill 3, which is extremely impactful in a turn 2 position. So Richard, are you going to pick up a Juno to counter? But that is not possible anymore because Juno is pre-banned. So the next best thing might be Tetra or Veramos or he get the best of them all. The best counter to these. It is going to be Same A for the last pick. He's going to eat all that debuff with a smile on his face. So maybe Same A is going to be the force ban and Ice Coyote is going to lose the Dark Robo. So no strip. He might choose to go for the HP lead to go for the full turn 2 experience. But no, Richard is the one going to go for the HP lead, forcing the Ice Coyote to go first, maybe. Turn 1 belongs to the Zabala, but then no more Dark Robo to provide a strip. He is not going to be able to do anything against a full wheel team. Segment going next with the strip and the steel. She's gonna take the skill and the immunity of Rika. Ciara moving into nothing. She can't bomb, she can't do damage, she can't do anything. And Carno being very fast as well. Once again, moving into absolutely nothing. A bit of damage on the segment, but nothing to really write home about. Now, Richard ready to go. No immunity to worry about. AoE slow debuff. Cigar with the AoE pushback and skill reset potentially onto the Karno. It is going to be on the Karno. Get the attack bomb. The Rika as well. Tian Lang skill 2 available. But going to try to defense break. Get a beautiful violent proc to now do good damage onto the Rika. Look at that. There's nothing that Ice Coyote can do. He fought. He fell into the classic. Drafting only one AoE stripper and let her get banned. So remember guys, if your team is specialized in debuff, you better have two AoE Stripper because we only have one. Look at what happened to Ice Coyote. Doesn't matter what kind of rune set, what kind of stat you have. You can't strip. You can't beat anybody because they're going to be on full wheel in this rank. And two unit down, two unit left with half HP. Richard having a very nice start to his day here with a first win. Taking down the Zabala. Very good damage from the Chandra. Slow debuff onto the Kano. And first game went to Richard. The most classic mistake in drafting. No strip, no win. And also Richard even went for the HP lead to make sure that he go turn 2. Round 2, Richard and Ice Coyote. What is going to be the pre-ban this time? He thought Juno was the biggest counter to his team, but Seime was even a better counter to his team. Not gonna lie, guys. I am a very... I'm like the Seime biggest hater. If you... <laughs> I love playing debuff team, and Seime just laugh at me every time. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like the biggest Seime hater out there. If there's a tier list, I'll put Seime into her own tier. Go... Sean B most hated tier. Same is gonna be in there. 
Hey gang is gonna pre ban Volantis is gonna get pre ban No more Hey gang. what is the plan for Ice Coyote? He, he definitely wanna go for some sort of AoE strip once again, but then AoE strip team is not exactly very good against Tian Lang and Seimei from Richard. So, maybe Eric B was bad for Ice Coyote. Today, Richard's gonna be even worse for him. Here we go. First pick for Richard's gonna be the good old Cigar. And what's gonna be the answer for Ice Coyote? It's gonna go for the Ciara. Is it gonna go for the Zibala Dark Robo once again? Or is it gonna go with a different angle this time? But it's gonna be the Ciara Zibala once again. What if Richard steal the Dark Robo? That would be the biggest uh, taunt in this tournament. If he go for the Dark Robo here. If he even has a Dark Robo rune. To be like, haha, my Dark Robo now. Is he going to go for it? He's going to go for the segment. He might go for the Chandra once again. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty pretty good start for Richard. Not to say that uh, is too meta or anything. But it is a solid start. Ice Coyote going to go for his second speed lead. Oliver and we have Dark Robo. Calling for Tian Lang immediately coming out from Richard. With all that attack bar. But what can be the last pick from Richard here? He knows that maybe there's going to be another AoE strip coming out. Is he going to go for some sort of unit that gain attack bar in between to combo with the TN line? Or is he going to go for the fire putting Lucia in the last slot to counter the attack bar, absorption, and pushback of Oliver Dark Robo? Or Juno? Hmm, Fire Monkey. Not too bad, but very vulnerable to bomb damage nowadays. So you don't see too much Fire Monkey spam compared to before. But not too bad. Still very good against Robo. Still very good against Oliver. Last become Ice Coyote. We need to see some sort of counter to this Fire Monkey. It's gonna be the Alexandra getting picked up last. Usually we'll see Alexandra against AoE Cleave. No, it's gonna be a Doman. A much better pick here to counter the Fire Monkey with a Curse of Death. So, once again. What if Richard go for the Dark Robo ban? But probably not. I think Doman's going to be the ban here. It is one of the biggest unit against G3 player. Because you put so much effort into ruining up your unit with insane amount of stat. Doman just kind of ignore all of that. All of your hard work. All of your preparation. Doman just say no to, not, to, to any of that. Oh, it's going to be once again the Dark Robo ban. And maybe we're just going to go for the HP lead once again. Go into the full wheel position. And pray for the Doman to miss trip. Which can very well happen. Or the segment is going to actually steal the Doman skill and immunity. But seeing Rit Ice Coyote 33% speed lead, maybe he's going to take turn one with the Zabala. Zabala going first. Is she? Is he going to boost Doman though? Because Tian Lang might come in between and do some nasty work. Boost Doman. Did not get full attack bar, but still get a turn before anything. Curse of Death on the monkey. So right now, the only way to save this monkey is to kill the Doman. There's no shield. And I'm not sure if he's going to kill the Doman in time here. He reset the Sierra, Trying to go for the Sierra kill. So maybe it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. He'll accept that his monkey will definitely die very, very soon here. But if Sierra's not on the field anymore, then Richard can actually beat Ice Coyote just having more damage output. Because Doman is very good at killing one target. Not exactly very good at killing the things that comes after. Big AoE, zero control on the rest of the Ice Coyote team. Not looking good, but the monkey, if it gets a turn, I think that Sierra's gonna go down. The Bala going for the AoE freeze, increased cool time. Could not stop the monkey. Here comes more debuff from the segment. Very good. Oh my god, Sierra's actually went down. Wait a minute. With this defense break setup, and if the monkey get a turn, it might be bad for Doman. Monkey going in, skill one on two. The Doman, Doman's in a lot of trouble. Very low health at this point. There's no healing coming out just yet. Oliver getting a turn, but with glancing, I don't think it's going to do much. Even with a Violent proc, I don't think it's going to do much. And right now, this Doman with very low health in a lot of trouble. A lot of pressure coming out from Richard. At the moment, Zebala with a mini heal. Trying to come in, cost, trying to save the Doman. But I don't think that's going to matter too much here because... Oliver and Zibala combined, not very strong against the Tian Lang and the Sekhmet setup here. Big damage onto the Doman. Doman's about to go down soon. Monkey's about to go down as well. 
but maybe it's not that bad because Oliver is being nerfed so hard just by Tianlan existing on the field. Zabala looking for a moment to use his skill too. To give the skill back. No, it's going to go for a mini heal into the Doman. Tianlan going into the Doman. Oliver, skill 3 available, but who? Which attack bar? He could not absorb attack bar of the segment. Segment going in. Zabala, another mini heal available. Or the skill 2. Zabala, maybe he's going to go for the heal here. Keep Doman alive a little bit longer. Doman, curse of death available. But the moment she dies, the curse also goes away. Together with, with her. So can she actually make a difference here? Karma onto the Chandra. Decided to not use the Curse of Death because knowing that she's going to die soon. Putting Karma on Chandra might be better, but Chandra doesn't even have skill to use. So the Karma was actually useless for to, to even scare anything from the Chandra. And that's GG. Richard It's going to take game two. Can Ice Coyote get one win in SCBC 2024? He lost 3 0 to Eric B. And he might. <laughs> he might lose another 3 0 to Richard. I hope he gets a win, though. I hope he figures something out. But if I'm in his position, I wouldn't know what to do, to be honest. Like, I'm sitting here making some, some comments about how Ice Coyote could be doing better. But if I'm in his position, this is a tough, tough game, man. Knowing that Richard has everything to counter, whatever you're trying to do, is not a, not a good feeling, not a good position to be in. But maybe Ice Coyote can do it. He's ranked 29 for a reason. He's not here to fool around. He knows what he's doing. Zabala getting banned. Juno getting banned. Richard noticed that Ice Coyote put his best Swift on Zabala. So by banning Zabala, not only he get rid of a unit, he got rid of the best Swift rune coming out from Ice Coyote. Here comes first from Ice Coyote. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Ciara once again? Didn't work out too well. Maybe steal the Chandra. No, it's going to go for the Oliver first pick here. No, we're going to go for the Wind Bison first pick. Finally stealing something from Ice Coyote. Because if you go Oliver and enemy has Tian Lang, definitely not going to be a good start. So, without Cigar, we'll shake Richard up a little bit. He's going to go for Ciara stealing it away from Ice Coyote. And he does have Veronica, by the way. Just, just a reminder that this guy has a Veronica and a Gianna that he still hasn't shown just yet. So it's going to be the good old Sierra Gianna first pick coming out from Richard, which means Heigan is going to pick up to counter the Gianna. But the problem with countering Gianna with Heigan is that that's the only one counter. If he banned that, you're still going to lose to Gianna. You still have to ban Gianna. So it's a, it makes your draft a bit more obvious. Unless you have like a secondary counter to Gianna, like a patter. That will make it a draft a bit better. But now we got Hei Gang and Veladryl. We have uh, the Julian and the Secret. Oh no. It is not looking good for Ice Coyote. Richard's going super aggressive seeing Ice Coyote not locking in any speed lead at all. And the counter play is going to be Alexandra trying to reflect some damage. And the last pick Triton to turn out speed the enemy with down speed lead. Because if Ice Coyote banned the Ciara. Never mind, it's gonna be uh, Josephine going on full turn to position here. Not trying to get turn one at all. So Richard can go for another damage, maybe? I half expect a Sonia, but probably not. That would be too risky. He actually went with a healer. Julian plus the Angela is gonna be really, really strong here because Angela is very good at protecting the Julian in the end game. So, what's gonna be the ban? Is it gonna be the Hey Gang ban? It's a 50 50 between Hei Gang and Gianna. Because if he banned Gianna, you don't have to ban Hei Gang. But you never know that. Do so you have to ban Hei Gang in case he doesn't ban Gianna? Okay, we have a Julian ban. We have an Alexandra ban. Which means Richard will have to deal with his Hei Gang using a Gianna. But with the secret attack bar boost, maybe he will go for the first turn strip stun. Even though it will give Hei Gang team 40% attack bar. Here we go. First turn attack bar. Buff and attack bar boost coming out from the Dark Ever Secret. Beautiful damage from both Oracle as well. But is he going to go for the strip though? 
He is actually going to go for the strip, get the strip on the rest of the enemy team, but give them attack bar. But because of the attack bar from, from the secret, the Sierra is still going to take a turn, but he, she lost her attack buff to the Josephine Strip. Bomb onto the Hay Gang. Can this actually kill? It could not even put Hay Gang in any danger position. Hay Gang still very healthy. And with the Strip, I mean, with the clans coming out from the Velajul, I think Hay Gang is going to be just fine. And now, Richard is the one in a lot of trouble because he used everything he had. He's now empty. No more Strip, no more Bomb. No more damage, and his unit are not exactly tanking either. Okay, he does have a bomb right here, but remember, the villagers still have the clans ready to go, and I don't believe that Hei Gang is gonna violent proc to go down to his to his bomb right now. AOE. But damn, Ice Cube doesn't really have any big healing. Meanwhile, Angela is keeping this Sierra very healthy at the moment. Hey gang coming in, doing some damage on Sierra. He has a small window to kill the Sierra with a defense break on. He had to use that window wisely here. Damage from Josephine. Who is it going to be on? Josephine trying to stun the secret, get a violent prize. Well, provoke available, going straight for Sierra. They are now down to lower than half HP. Looking like she's going to be the target of the Velajul damage as well. And Sierra's about to go down, but Angela said, nah. Give her the shield and the heal she needs. No more defense break on the Sierra at the moment. If Secret managed to get another skill 3 out, it's going to be a lot of healing and damage for Richard's team. Here comes the Josephine with the Provoke. Going to go on to the Secret. Have to eat the defense break though, not exactly very tasty. And if Sierra Gianna managed to get another bomb onto this Josephine, she might have to go down because Josephine is usually built with a crit damage slot 4, which will take away some potential tankiness that she could get from a HP slot 4 room. Angela keeping the Sierra and her entire team alive with a small violent proc, but a big heal onto the Sierra as well. And here is the mo- Oh! Hey gang! Just say goodbye. We, we didn't even say, managed to say goodbye to Hey Gang, but Hey Gang just disappeared due to the reflect damage. The bomb from the Sierra almost took down the Josephine as well. But Josephine might go down very soon here to the Gianna skill one. Is she gonna go for it? Gonna drop the bomb onto the Josephine, but, but we'll go for the stun as well because why not? Hey Gang is no longer on the field. Nothing to be scared of anymore. And once again, and the dot's gonna take down Josephine. Gianna going for another bomb. GG! Richard, we take game three. Our first 3-0 of the day belong to Richard.